My name is Mark Waschke and I'm playing the beautiful character of Eduard uh, who is coming from Berlin to Brussels and uh, going to have some amazing experiences. What I like very much about Eduard is um, his uh, decision at the beginning of the story to change his life and to making this big step and decision I want to change it completely and uh, trying to go with the flow and uh, see what's happening. <clears throat> Mein lieber kleiner Bruder, bevor du morgen fährst, möchte deine nur minimal ältere Schwester ein paar Worte sagen. Nun gehst du nach Brüssel. Nicht nur für einen neuen Job, sondern um ein ganz neues Leben anzufangen. Ich habe mich gefragt, warum? Was stimmt nicht mit deinem jetzigen Leben hier? Alle Menschen, die hier versammelt sind, Eduard, lieben dich. Manche sogar noch mehr als andere. Und trotzdem ist das nicht genug für dich. Zum ersten Mal in meinem Leben habe ich das Gefühl, dass ich dich nicht mehr verstehe und dass du nicht mehr auf mich hörst. Ich hoffe, dass du das findest, was du suchst. Und dass du glücklich wirst. Well, uh, what I loved about the script uh, in the first moment was uh, the beautiful way of um, dealing with uh, the big question how to live and how to live relationships and how to live your passion and your love and not having an answer but trying to ask the questions in the most, in the sexiest way and uh, in a very playful way. When I read the script the first time, uh, I was uh, touched and I uh, liked it a lot. And uh, because uh, these are things I'm thinking about a lot and I, I talk about it a lot with my friends. And I was so happy that there is a script where all these question, questions are combined. And, uh, but I thought there will be so many actors asked for that uh, character, no way of getting it, the part. And I met Norbert and just said him, uh, it's me, Eduard, it's me, so you have to do it with me, I know you will meet many other people. But, uh, um, yeah, now it's me and I'm very, very happy to uh, tell this beautiful story. It's the first time with the Dutch director, not the first time with the foreign director, but uh, uh, I like very much working with him because he's uh, very open, very charming, very uh, sensitive for the situations. And uh, uh, even he wrote the script himself and it's his story. He's not, uh, it's not uh, the, the holy uh, uh, thing, uh, each line we, we can sometimes improvise and uh, develop the scene together. So it's a, it's an open process, I would say, and uh, yes, yeah, very playful, and, uh, funny. <laughs> yeah, it's not really broken. It's half broken. No, it is broken. And um, yes, it's uh, this is no fun, <laughs> but uh, part of the story. And sound, rolling. And action. <clears throat> I like very much uh, the development in, 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 in total. So to have uh, um, the possibility uh, as an actor to show so many uh, different uh, ways of behavior of him. Uh, and in general, I like very much uh, his way of reacting on uh, the people, of, of watching them, observing them, and just uh, allowing myself uh, 
things uh, things to happen and uh, yeah it's a uh, in a subtle way in a very uh, a hero in a very subtle way I would say what was really very new was uh, working in so many different languages three languages I had once I had two another time yeah, two as well and uh, but I liked very much and I like very much this uh, uh, how the sound of the voice is changing with, with the language my English is my school English and I am I'm using it like a tool uh, aber wenn ich Deutsch spreche ist es was anderes und ich spüre direkt ich bin so zwei Etagen tiefer So it's about this, uh, yeah, playing with the, with the, playing with everything, with the words and uh, with this uh, international uh, atmosphere concerning uh, being in a city where nobody is knowing you and you think it's like ah, a big playground you know, that was uh, very open. So it was a different atmosphere. I liked it very much. Dames and heren, ladies and gentlemen, Monsieur et Madame, meine Dames und Herren, on behalf of the Dutch community in Brussels, I'd like to give you our heartfelt thanks for coming to our farewell party. Tomorrow we are off to Strasbourg, and then the following day there will be another welcoming party organized by our friends from Griekenland. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Idrune Verona. I'm a trainee at the EU. I'm going to help in the research of harmonization protocols for European relations. Excellent, excellent. And since I don't know Bye. Bizarre. Mm -hmm. I'm working. So am I. It's better if we keep our relations strictly business here. It's more reasonable for you too. Well, the character I'm performing is used to it because he's gay. So uh, it's a new experience for him to have a relationship with a woman. For me, it's more the other way around. <laughs> uh, so uh, for me, in, in general, the story is not so much about being gay and trying to be uh, heterosexual or the other way around. For me, it's more about, in general, am I happy with my way of living and uh, is it possible to change it or am I threatened by, um, by my life and I cannot change anything? So, uh, um, yes, I like very much to uh, uh, the idea of going to a completely different city and trying to be open uh, to uh, uh, yeah to completely new situations and not ah oh, it's going on like this and maybe I change a little bit like this no 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 now I'm saying from this day on I try to be I try to love women uh, even when I loved men before and um, yes I like this uh, tabula rasa idea. Today is the first uh, day of shooting in the house of Eduard, in, in my house, and uh, we are rehearsing and shooting a scene in which uh, Richard and me are listening to a beautiful music of, uh, played by Horowitz, and uh, Edurne is preparing some food in the kitchen, so uh, she and me, we want to have him for each one of us. And this is not possible, so there's a kind of uh, discussion developing out of it. And uh, yes, we are uh, just trying to find out the smoothest way of uh, enjoying the friction. You know? Well, I think uh, my character, Eduard, really has an obsession with. Um, 
with carpets and with wallpapers and I realized it when I was entering this house and uh, uh, it's helped me a lot performing my character, finding new, new ways of uh, seeing in what is. One of the big questions in the movie is uh, how to live your love, how to live a relationship, how, how to uh, be happy in your in your relationship, and uh, these are uh, questions questions that are uh, where society is changing a lot. I think I think in the next ten or twenty years, uh, many ways of uh, living, uh, family, love, relationship, having children, being gay, adopting a child. All these questions are changing very fast, but there are no recipes. We are the first generations. We are the first generation that is changing their concept of living together completely. Uh, uh, the parents did it in a completely different way, and nobody is, is uh, there to uh, to help us to uh, say, yeah, try it like this or try it like this. We have to find out by ourselves, and uh, this is what the movie is also about. Uh, that uh, yeah, okay, there is homophobia still existing, but uh, there are many people saying no, homophobia, I'm not interested in. So uh, they are open to uh, all kind of relationships and. But still feeling insecure because they are not having uh, the recipe. So uh, and uh, there's a lot of uh, humor in it in this uh, way of in this search in this research on uh, on love. I would say uh, it's a unique story. I never uh, heard about a, about a film like that about. Uh, uh, a man, a woman, and another man uh, being uh, coming together, having such a strong friction and attraction, and uh, trying to figure out in five di different languages that are not so important at all because you get the story without understanding one line um, how to be happy and how to live their lives. And uh, it's, uh, I think it's very funny and it's uh, dramatic as well. It's, uh, I hope it will be a good mixture of melodrama and uh, comedy. Te quiero, mamá. Adiós. Vivo con un hombre, mamá. ¿Me oyes? ¡Ena! Buenos días, señorita. How does it feel? Is this what you want in life?